Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about the uh, sound suppression water system uh, used um, at the mobile launcher platform for the space shuttles for their launches. So the basic overall point of having the sound water suppression system is to alleviate the stresses on the space shuttle when um, when it's rockets, when the solid rocket booster is firing and when the space shuttle's main engines are firing, uh, the acoustical energy um, can reflect off of the bottom of the launcher and then um, and excite some of the, the resonant frequencies in the space shuttle which could shake it pretty much apart. Uh, so this the system's actually, there's actually a lot more going on than I had initially thought when I started looking at it. Um, but pretty much I have these four sections here and I'll go through each one of them. Um, so the first one that I want to look at is this one here which is the side view. Um, so you can see here this piece right here is the mobile launcher platform. Up here you have the solid rocket booster and you have the space shuttle here with its, uh, there should be three, but this is just a side view. So there's the, the space shuttle main engines or the SSMEs and then the solid rocket booster with the SRBs. Um, again, it's a side view. So, and then this here, down here, is below the actual platform and this is called a flame deflector. And so everything in green in this entire thing should be um, should be where the water is actually coming out of. Water is blue, uh, I thought that made sense, and then uh, kind of the flames or exhaust is, is color-coded red. Uh, okay, so there's a couple things happening here and I'll try to go through it as best I can in the most logical way, uh, but pretty much when, so the first thing that starts up, um, I think it's six to seven seconds before uh, actual liftoff, is that the space shuttle main engines uh, ignite, and you can see that when the um, when the hydrogen burn-off sparks, which is in my, another one of my videos, um, when those are kind of when those have been going for a couple seconds, then the the uh, SSMEs uh, ignite, and then so what you have going on down here is there are these sixteen nozzles which spray out water and kind of coats and coats down the uh, on the flame deflector uh, to absorb any of that energy from when the actual SSMEs start firing. I believe, and I'm not sure because I couldn't find enough information on this, but I believe there's there's something there's like 22 water nozzles um, inside uh, this exhaust hole. So these two plate these two things are called exhaust holes. They're holes going down through the actual mobile launcher platform, and, I'm and I think there's 22 nozzles in there, but I don't know exactly where, so I didn't draw them. Um, but those also spray water when the SSMEs are started up. So this, so these, um, since this is a side view, these uh, 16 nozzles, which is, this is kind of a blown up view, um, they're lining, going across, 16 of them across uh, the flame deflector, and then the water sprays out and down the flame deflector on both sides. As you can kind of see here, this, these are the openings in the, in the nozzles, and then the water flows down on the SSME side and the SRB side. So, um, so there's the 22 nozzles up here, and then there's this, these 16 nozzles here for the space shuttle main engines. Um, then for the uh, solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, it's a little bit more complicated on this side. Um, so a simplified version is that, so you have the red exhaust going down through the exhaust hole, and actually in the... In the SRB exhaust hole, there's actually two holes. There's the there's the primary um, flame hole and then the secondary flame hole, which I'll talk about down here. Um, but pretty much there, it looks like from the visuals that I've been able to look at, it looks like there are two nozzles in each hole. So there's two solid rocket boosters. Uh, so this is the, this is kind of a top view here. So there's there's two solid rocket boosters. Let me back up for one second. This hole right here, this is just the top view of this. So I'm going to just turn this on its side like that. Um, so this is the space shuttle main engine hole. So th this is just one big opening for all three of the of the main engines. Uh, and then again, there's probably 22 nozzles in here somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure where. Uh, this dotted line, these two dotted lines are just the top of the flame deflector, and then these, there's not 16 here, but there's actually 16 um, nozzles uh, lining the top of this, spanning the width of the flame deflector cavity. Um, Okay, so since there's two solid rocket boosters on the space shuttle, there's two separate holes, um, or two separate exhaust holes. 
and in each one there's, you can kind of see here, it might be a little small in the video, but you can kind of see there's two different uh, sections of it. There's the primary flame holder, and this is where the space shuttle, where the SRBs are located, so in, I know I'm skipping around a little bit, but here, this is the primary flame hole, this is the secondary flame hole, um, and what's happening is there are these two nozzles in each of the, uh, in each of the exhaust holes, and those have water uh, being fed into the exhaust hole. Um, okay, and then, and then again when these, so the solid rocket booster lights um, at t equals zero or t minus zero, so right at, right when the time has counted down all the way to, uh, to zero. Um, so, uh, so this, this water is already flowing, uh, the water from the 22 nozzle is already flowing, and then when the SRB lights, what they found was that um, the the system in here with these with these nozzles and I'll talk about these water bags uh, is used to alleviate the stresses on the wings and the ailerons um, from when the actual SRBs ignite initially uh, because uh, when they had their first mission so in STS one um, they found that they were getting over pressure uh, over pressure indications uh, on the space shuttle and they needed to alleviate, the, alleviate those stresses somehow, so they have this thing called the overpressure, uh, overpressure, or overpressure suppression, or protection, uh, and that's where these, uh, these two nozzles in each of the SRV uh, exhaust holes come from, and the water bags, so, um, so I know I skip around a little bit, but it's, uh, but we're going to move down to here then. Um, so, there's the two exhaust holes, there's a primary flame hole, and this is the bottom view now, so we, so we're like standing down here looking up into the hole. And so this is for one of the solid rocket boosters. So you can see the nozzle, the circular nozzle for the solid rocket booster, and this is the primary flame hole, so this is where the actual, you know, when it lights, it'll come right out of this hole. And then this is the secondary flame hole. So in the primary flame hole, this is again also just looking at video picture, but it looks to me like there are these water bags lined around the actual rocket booster in the primary flame hole and from the video it looked like these were yellow like yellow water bags and then these over here are lying in the secondary flame hole and these look like they were red water bags and again the, these two things here are these two nozzles uh, that are just flowing water in so these water bags are just holding water they're not they're not injecting water out into the um, <laughs> into the actual flame holes. So what they would do is they would uh, dampen the blowback pressure uh, from when the SRVs were initially ignited, um, kind of similarly to how like a water balloon, if you drop it on you know, the pavement, sometimes it doesn't break, it'll just absorb the energy. Uh, so that's what these are, would be doing with the acoustical sound waves. Okay, so then that's all well and good. So when the so before, going back again a little bit, before the actual launch, the SSMEs are lit. The water's flowing here. Um, so the water's flowing from here, the th flowing from the 22 nozzles in here. And then um, when the SRBs are ignited, we have the overpressure suppression system, um, which have these two nozzles and then the water bags um, in the exhaust hole. And then when the shuttle lifts off, um, um, when it's, I think it's a, it, it says in some of these uh, documents that when it's about 300 feet off of, when it's risen 300 feet above the platform, you start getting the acoustical energy reflected off of the metal plates on the mobile launcher platform of the MLP seen here. Um, and to dampen this out, they have these six uh, huge nozzles called rainbirds, um, which flow uh, about 300,000 gallons of water uh, over the actual platform. Uh, the pipes, so there's a water tower located a little farther away from the platform, and it's, it's, the height is about 290 feet off of the ground, and these pipes feed each of the six, there's only two shown here, but it feeds each of the six rainbirds, and the pipe that leads from the water tower to these rainbirds um, is seven feet in diameter, which is extremely large, and then they fly out of these nozzles, which are, uh, they're less than seven feet, I think a couple of them are maybe like 40 inches, or I guess it would be about four feet and then like two and a half feet uh, diameter nozzles. And those just flood the 
the uh, mobile launcher platform with water uh, to absorb the energy uh, after the, the space shuttle is lifted off uh, higher than 300 feet. Um, and I guess that's kind of an overview of the sound suppression water system uh, used. If you have any questions, let me know, or if I didn't explain something well enough, let me know, and I'll try to fix it. Or if I'm wrong on any of this stuff, because this is all, it's not, it's not just speculation, but I, this is from visual clues where I think that these are the water bags, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you have any information, please let me know. Thank you.